Hi everybody, it's Marilyn with MKR Creations and Father's Day is coming up so we are going to work on a Father's Day card today and what I did first was I took a barn scene. My dad was raised on a farm. Um, haven't lived on a farm since I was about three years old but um, he was raised on a farm so I thought this would be perfect for Father's Day since for his birthday I did a hunting card thought about doing a fishing card but that's just way too much like what the other card is so I thought I would do this I this is water paper um, watercolor paper is actually is a pad of watercolor pad from Masters Touch and it is a four by six inch pad and it has the side that has the texture and the other side's a little more smooth. I originally stamped this on the texture side. As you can see, it didn't really turn out all that great. I um, was not real impressed with that. So I went to this side. I did try and I did stamp it on regular cardstock also which would be fine if I was just going to use colored pencils but I am using watercolor pencils to give it a softer look so I decided to try and put it on the non-textured side and that came out pretty good so that's what we're going to be doing here so um, my watercolor pencils are the fine touch brand and they are also from Hobby Lobby so I'm gonna grab out what I need here I need some dark green and I want some lighter green I'm going with a lot of different shades of green um, I believe this is black and I need that Um, let's see what other, maybe some gray, kind of a grayish brown there. And maybe some lighter greens also for the grassy areas, make things kind of pop a little. And I need some brown. And that's for the driveway area. Maybe we'll use different, couple different colors there. So, we are going to just start coloring and just color how you like. Um, whatever you think will work good for you. And I'll speed this process up for you. Okay, now it's time to lighten this up. I use the Jane Davenport um, water pens. I'm almost out of water here. Let's see if my other one has enough water in it. Yeah, my other one's full. So, they come in a two pack and you just kind of squeeze lightly right here when you have the water down to get a little water on your brush. You don't want to do too much because you don't want this curling but you want to do enough to kind of soften these lines. I did put the blue sky in the front, 
background I put the gravel road in the front and we will lighten those up here and soften all of that um, I'm going to start with the blue of the sky because I normally as you can see this is stained by green normally just kind of wipe it off with my fingers to make sure the color is gone and then move on to the next part that I'm working on And you just take little strokes, move the color around a bit. And this I'm going to be cutting so I'm not too terribly worried about the edge edge. So as you can see, some colors actually do a better job of melting and moving about than others do and hiding your lines. The blue didn't want to move out very well or fade out very well. So, okay. Now, since this is going to be a man's card, I am not, I don't have any square dies. So I'm just going to cut this into a square and then I will mat it up with some other colors so I'm going to use my Fiskars trimmer here I'm going to decide I want it to stay nice and straight but I want to get rid of the sky where it does not belong okay Okay, so then I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to measure how big this is, and I write it down because I forget numbers very quickly, so I write them down immediately, and this is about three and a half, by two and three-fourths. So I'm going to add about a fourth of an inch on each side. Let's start here. My card is six and a half by five so we're gonna start there we're gonna go six and a fourth By five, four and three fourths. And let's see how that's going to fit on our card. Okay, that will fit good. So we're going to put this here. So we don't want the mat under it to be too small or too big. So 
So, this is the creative process. Usually I have this all figured out before I start, but of course not today. All right, so we're going to take this one a half inch down from our original drawing, or original measurements. So we'll go down to six. By four and a half. Okay. Make sure we got this right. I think we're going to make this an inch bigger. Let's see how that looks. So we'll, instead of three and a half, we're going to go at four and a half. By three and three fourths. Let's see how that's going to look. So that'd be like that. I think I'm going to go down a little bit more with this and put another layer on there. We'll see if we like that. So it was six and a half. We went down to six, I believe. Did we not? Yeah, we went down to six, so we're going to go down to five and three fourths. And. That was six by four and a half, so we're going to go down to four and a fourth. See if I did this right. It could be interesting. Yeah, I think that's better. <sighs> Maybe. Still not sure I like this really dark one. I think maybe I want the lighter one.
take a little more off here. Got my pencil to mark it. This is going to have to go down a little bit. This video is turning out a lot longer than I expected. So I hope you'll just kind of bear with me here while I get this all put together. All right, so now as your blade gets worn, you I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's kind of a ridge here where I push the blade down to cut the paper. And if you want your blades, you know, if you want to use them a little longer, because they're still cutting, they're not really tearing paper or anything, um, I always make sure that that cut edge is down so that nobody can really notice that. And again, I'm using the art glitter glue. It's just a lot easier to get things placed where you want them. You got a little give there of... how you're gonna move, if you need to move things. And that will dry clear. That's the beauty of our glitter glue. It dries clear. No one will even know. And this is going to go here. Kind of debating if I want to round the corners of the picture. Maybe not. Especially since all the backgrounds are totally square. So we'll just go with square. If it was a female card, I would have thought about rounding all the background pieces, giving it a little softer look. But this is for a man, so don't want it looking too soft. Okay, 
And this one I'm going to hold down for a couple of minutes so that it takes. Just going to use my baby wipes a little bit on the edge here to make sure the glue comes up. Okay, and then we will put it on our card front. And again, you want to have that ridge around it. And this is going to be a sturdy card. And I'll be hand delivering this, so I don't have to worry about whether I need extra postage or not. And I will just write my message on the inside of, you know, Happy Father's Day and so on and so forth, whatever you like to write in your cards. And if, you know, you don't have to use this as a Father's Day card, you can use it as any kind of a greeting card. So that is our project for today. I hope you like it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell for the notifications. And please comment below, help my channel grow. And it's been great having you back and I will see you next time. Happy crafting everyone.